Mastering Service Quality Metrics We're flying blind without KPIs to measure our service quality. Where do we track and measure the key performance indicators, KPIs, that are used to evaluate and improve our organization's overall service quality, and what are they specifically? In the pursuit of operational excellence, tracking and measuring key performance indicators, KPIs, is crucial to evaluate and improve an organization's overall service quality. To achieve this, organizations typically establish a robust performance management framework that outlines the process of defining, measuring, and analyzing KPIs. This framework is usually embedded within the organization's overall quality management system, ensuring that service quality is consistently monitored and enhanced. The process of defining KPIs begins with identifying the organization's goals and objectives. Service quality is often a top priority, and as such, KPIs are established to measure performance in areas such as customer satisfaction, response time, resolution rate, and first call resolution, FCR. These KPIs are typically categorized into three tiers, operational, tactical, and strategic. Operational KPIs focus on day-to-day -day activities and measure the efficiency of processes. Examples include 1. Average speed of answer, ASA, the time it takes for a customer service representative to answer a call or respond to an inquiry. 2. Abandon rate, the percentage of customers who abandon their call or inquiry before it is resolved. 3. Average handle time, AHT, the time taken to resolve a customer inquiry or issue. Tactical KPIs assess the effectiveness of processes and measure the quality of service provided. Examples include 1. Customer satisfaction, CSAT, measured through surveys, feedback forms, or net promoter score, NPS. 2. First call resolution, FCR, the percentage of customer inquiries resolved on the first contact. 3. Net resolution rate, the percentage of customer inquiries resolved within a specified time frame. Strategic KPIs evaluate the overall performance of the organization and align with its mission and vision. Examples include 1. Customer retention rate, the percentage of customers retained over a specified period. 2. Return on investment, ROI, the financial return on investment in service quality initiatives. 3. Competitive benchmarking, comparing service quality performance with industry peers or competitors. To track and measure these KPIs, organizations use various tools and techniques, such as 1. Data analytics platforms, utilizing data visualization and business intelligence tools to analyze and report on KPIs. 2. Performance dashboards real-time monitoring of KPIs to identify trends and areas for improvement. 3. Quality monitoring, recording and evaluating customer interactions to assess service quality. 4. Customer feedback mechanisms, collecting feedback through surveys, net promoter score, NPS, or other means. 5. Process automation, implementing workflow automation to streamline processes and reduce errors. By establishing a comprehensive performance management framework, organizations can effectively track and measure KPIs, identify areas for improvement, and implement initiatives to enhance service quality. This, in turn, leads to increased customer satisfaction, loyalty, and ultimately, operational excellence. The elusive pursuit of operational excellence. It's a journey I've been on for decades and one that has taught me more about the human condition than I ever could have imagined. Let me take you back to a particular episode that comes to mind. I was working with a large financial institution, helping them revamp their customer service department. They were struggling to meet their own expectations, let alone those of their clients. I walked into a conference room filled with frustrated managers, each with their own ideas on how to fix the problem. The conversation quickly devolved into a heated debate about whose metrics were more important, first call resolution rates, average handle time, or customer satisfaction scores. 
I listened intently, observing the dynamics at play. It was as if each manager was trying to outdo the others, convinced that their particular metric was the key to unlocking true operational excellence. But I knew better. I'd seen this movie before, and it rarely ends well. I asked them to take a step back, to consider the bigger picture. What were they really trying to achieve with these metrics? Was it simply to tick a box, to impress someone higher up the corporate ladder? Or was it genuinely to improve the customer experience? The room fell silent. It was as if I'd exposed a dirty little secret. No one had stopped to think about the why behind the what. They were chasing numbers, not people. I proposed an experiment. Let's create a new set of metrics, ones that truly capture the essence of service quality. But here's the twist. We'd involve the very people on the front lines, the customer service reps themselves. We'd ask them to identify the factors that made a difference in their interactions with clients, the moments that either made or broke a customer's day. The managers were skeptical at first, but I convinced them to give it a shot. We spent weeks gathering feedback, observing call patterns, and analyzing customer feedback. And what did we discover? A profound irony, the metrics that mattered most were the ones that defied easy quantification. It wasn't about resolving calls quickly or efficiently, it was about listening empathetically. It wasn't about meeting some arbitrary target for customer satisfaction, it was about being genuinely present in the conversation. It wasn't about reducing handle time, it was about taking the time to understand the customer's story. We created a new set of metrics, ones that captured the essence of these intangible, human interactions. And guess what? Service quality began to improve dramatically. Customer satisfaction scores skyrocketed. And the managers? They finally had a sense of purpose, a sense that they were working towards something greater than just a set of numbers. As I looked around that conference room, I realized that the real challenge wasn't about tracking metrics or measuring performance. It was about embracing the complexity, the messiness of human interaction. It was about acknowledging that, sometimes, the most important things in life can't be reduced to a spreadsheet or a graph. I left that project with a newfound appreciation for the beauty of operational excellence. It's not about optimizing processes or streamlining workflows. It's about creating an environment where people can thrive, where they can be their authentic selves, and where they can genuinely connect with others. It's a lesson that has stayed with me to this day, one that I've applied in countless contexts. And it's one that I hope you'll carry with you as well, that true operational excellence begins with a willingness to embrace the ambiguity, the uncertainty, and the beauty of human connection.